What's going on peeps? Dark Ace here back at it again. Today we're going to be playing some Tekken Tag Tournament. Now, that was a dope ass intro, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I fucking, I love that intro. Like, I really do. Like, I truly love that intro. But, uh, let me spit some lore before I, you know, get on with this video. But before I do that, I don't even have to tell you. But I'm about to do it anyway. Reuse theme history video. Go ahead and peep that after you're done with this video, if you have not already. And make sure you vote on who you want to see on the third theme history video after Guile, which is the second theme history video. So yeah, go ahead and take care of that after you're done with this video. And also leave a like, comment on the video, and just just have fun. Just have fun. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, the lore. Now... Obviously, this is the arcade version of Tekken Tag Tournament, right? Uh, this was ported to the PS2. Now, the PS2, the graphics are phenomenal for this game. The game, the game's graphics was phenomenal on the PS2. But, before this, this was created. And, without having the, you know, graphics that we usually see on PS2 in mind, they reused the graphics from Tekken 3 to put on this game so some characters were recreated but with the um, Tekken 3 engine so in a sense and this is pretty much the case Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Arcade is running in the Tekken 3 engine I should have just said that but you know just wanna just wanna spit some lore alright shut up and um, with that in mind, there are also like palette swap type shits uh, going on with the stages too. Like the China stage, which is Lee stage or Lei stage, excuse me. Um, Lei pretty much in Tekken 3's uh, Lei st stage in Tekken 3 pretty much had a daytime, but um, Tekken Tag has a nighttime. Yoshimitsu stage, which is this one, is snow. The other one isn't snow, uh, you know, is not snowing in, um, the third game. And so much more, you know. And I'm pretty much gonna point that out, too, uh, as I'm playing the game. So, uh, yeah, anyways, let's get started with the gameplay, and I'll explain more later. So today... We're going to be using this man and this man because they're the freaking same. Look at this shit. Okay, they add the punch, but they didn't do the takedown because that didn't exist yet. Want to see something? Bastard. Stay down. Stay down. You're lucky. Stay down. Bitch. But yeah, this is definitely Yoshimitsu stage, and I really love the song. Yo, the arcade stages uh, music is definitely the best one in my opinion, man. I don't know why. I don't. Oh, this is Huarang stage, right? Same thing like Tekken 3, but it's nighttime and it's thundering. So, yeah, that's another thing. Oh. Oh shit. 
yeah, but yeah, I told you this is definitely like a palette swap type situation where Tekken 3 shit is definitely used on Tekken Tag, but in a definite and different variation. Yeah, it's running on a different variation than we usually see in Tekken 3. Which is exactly why I like in my opinion, only because I like something like this. You know which one had it too? Street Fighter. Uh, I think it started with Alpha. Because we have Charlie stage and we have Ken stage. A few people were in Ken stage, but in Charlie stage we had a lot of people. That's literally the difference between that. Up, oh, Eddie Gordo stage. In Eddie Gordo stage, we were dealing with the evening stage here, but in Tekken 3, uh, it's during the daytime. Brother, enough. Really? Wow. Ganryu, I suggest... You sit your ass down, boy. Chua! Bastard. What? Get out of here with that. Why yeah. The one time I wanna I knew I could do it. Uh, I never knew it existed yet. I never knew that move existed. Yo, I never knew that move existed yet. I had to try. I thought it existed during like Tekken 6 or something. Tekken 5, Tekken 6. Did not know that. I'm glad it existed. Jesus, jumped up Christmas. Or not Tekken, uh... Well, yeah, Devil Jin. Son of a bitch. But yeah, this is, uh, Law Stage. Uh, they added that, uh, bridge shit, or whatever, and the actual background from, like, Tekken 3 is, like, behind it. I don't know, man. I love variations and type shits different from the other games even though it's the same shit shit Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm. yeah Yo, the power of Brian can't help you now, dude. Bastard. Come here. Are you serious? Ah! Are you kidding me? Yo, that push block ain't helping. Fuck. Shit. What are you doing? 
No! Uh uh uh. Fuck! You <laughs> I'm getting this shit. Uh uh uh. I wish that other move could have existed somewhere, man. Definite. Ow. She stopped me from doing my tag. And yes, it does take a long time, but at least have a protective effect. At least it has a protective effect. Someone. What's up, buddy? What the fuck? Mm -mm, mm -mm. And I know it's Lei Wulong too, dude. Fucking A. Get the fuck out of here, little girl. You're playing in the big boys' playground. This is obviously the uh, school stage. And I think it's, uh, I guess, different from the school stage from Tekken 3. I don't know if it had the Tekken 3... I don't know if Tekken 3 Arcade has um, the school stage. Maybe it's an exclusive or something. Law, my dude. Oh yeah, I missed the fun facts. Uh, both... Both Law and Yoshimitsu were played by our own Katsuhiro Harada. Forrest, I love you dude, but you need to die. So yeah, Law and Yoshimitsu were played by... Harada, but I was trying to block low. Why didn't it do that? Bloop, 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 bloop. Fuck off. Uh uh. Shit! You know. No, I wanted to. Okay, let me. What are you doing? What are you doing, part? Oh, what? No, I wanted to do the twin pistons. Damn it! Yo, the twin pistons could have been something. Ah! Put on the shoot. And get this shit on, man. Are you kidding me? Yo, I love that damn suit. The one in Tekken 5, that suit doesn't pale in comparison to the suit that he's wearing right now. Because I don't like the little tail shits on, you know, the jacket. No tail shits on the jacket. I do love the trench coat version. Or, or uh, the fuck is Panda doing there? You see her? Right there. Now, I could remember Kuma being on the P uh, excuse me, the um, Tekken 3 version of the school stage. But, I don't know, man. And I think if we pick Panda... Son of a bitch! Tack, 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 tack. Thank you. Fuck off. But yeah, I would imagine if you pick Panda, then she wouldn't be in the goddamn cage. Some shit like that. Uh uh. And another thing. I can't believe. That they have a school that has Heihachi's statue. Like, he's some type of, like, president or something. Because, I don't know, man. J Jin went to school here. He 
doesn't go to school anymore because I don't think he wants to associate himself going to school that has uh, his cursed family's name in the uh... are you kidding me yo law ah! no I freaking pressed the tag button I pressed the tag button what the flip don't freaking shrug yourself dude you know what hold on yeah I see you in the back Shit. 1 pistons bastard ow law i used you before but i know how to break you that's all right that's quite all right Mm. Uh-uh. Yeah, I gotta tell you guys about Jin. Fuck off, bitch. But yeah, Jin. I know he hates the Mishima family, but here's the thing. It's not the Mishima's fault that he's like that. I mean, he has to know that his grandmother is the reason why he has these powers in the fucking first place. Oh, and by the way, this is King Stage. We already know how King Stages look like in uh, Tekken 3. This is his stage in Tekken Tag Tournament. And it's de definitely different. June, fuck off. I know we had an intimate relationship. But if you get in my way, you will die. Oh, and um. Ah, no! Fucker! Fucker! Yo! Oh! Yeah, June had sex with Kazuya, but I think he was in the devil form while having sex? I don't know, man. I know. That Kazuya did some mind trick on June. Yeah, I knew that Kazuya through Devil pretty much did a mind trick on June to have uh, sexual intercourse. And out came Jin! Son of a bitch! Hold on! And it kind of. Hey! And it causes Kazuya to lose focus while facing his father, and then he fucking lost and was thrown into a volcano during those years of his life until he was pulled out by G Corporation. June was good. Uh, June was gone ever since, and quite frankly, I don't think he even cares about June. I know they had history, hence Jin. Shit. <laughs> That's a lie. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Hold on. You lucky I didn't grab your ass and take you down to the ground, bitch. Yep. Sup, guys? The whole family is back together again. Yeah, this is Ogre Stage. Now, I don't know. Yeah, it's not the same shit. I know. A lot of the themes, or not themes, I know a lot of the stages have different variations, but same feel, or same look. 
but with the exception of Ogre stage and possibly the Law stage, I definitely think that this is like Actually, I lied. If we can pan over there. Motherfucker. I just want to pan there. Yeah, I think that stage or part of the stage is definitely Ogre stage or something like that. I know my lures, guys. Quiet. Die. Fight. Uh. 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 But yeah. Jin should not be concerned with Hey or excuse me, Hey Hachi and Kazuya in terms of, you know, they or Kazuya, it started with Kazuya and the whole Mishima family. No, the Hachijo is pretty much the reason why they have the damn powers in the first place. Okay, Hachi pretty much despised the devil for taking over his beloved wife. That's why he had to snap her neck to set her free. And then test Kazuya if he is the recipient of the devil or shares the same powers. Which he does because the genes are inherited from his mother to him. Same thing could be said with uh, Jin. Because he has devil powers through his father and his grandmother. Now if that's true, then why the fuck did half of Kazuya's devil powers feel the need on branding this motherfucker with the, you know, signature tattoo that Jin has. Because I thought that was the reason why he has the devil powers is because of the tattoo. And the other half was pretty much inherited to him, as was told in Tekken 4 because Half of his power went away to find the the spawn of, you know, Kazuya and Jun's son. Or, excuse me, uh, the spawn of Kazuya and Jun, right? Shit! Hey, Hachi, I'm telling the story. Stop it! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah! Take that! Anyways, I would get a uh, devil for this. Anyways, yeah, so he found uh, June and the uh, the spawn of June and Kazuya. So he's trying to take over the body. Next thing you know, June did her, you know, spiritual powers and shit. Uh, taking, you know, good care of Jin while he was still inside the womb. Oh god. No! What happened? My freaking controls locked up! My controls locked up. What the fuck? Son. I'm using a different color for devil. Fuck this. Anyways. After Jin was grown up, after June was dis seemingly destroyed by Ogre, right? Then it was time for the, you know, power of Devil pretty much taking its... I'm getting my ass kicked. But you know the fucking lore, right? Oh, God. Motherfucker.
I'm gonna destroy this family today. This is not happening. Uh, this is not happening, right? This is not happening. Yo. Do not make me sick this motherfucker on your ass, Jin. You too, Heihachi. I'm just saying. Yo. Anna looks so fucking ugly, yo. <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. Does Eddie Gordo look like Jamie Foxx to you? Let me know in the comments below. Because I think Eddie looks like uh, Jamie Foxx. I think he looks exactly like Jamie Foxx. Like if you can, you know, tell Jamie Foxx to wear an Eddie Gordo costume uh, back like in like the early 2000s, I think he could pull it off. But yeah, he is definitely Eddie Gordo, yo. Jamie Foxx is Eddie Gordo confirmed. Son of a bitch. That was lucky because I did not mean to do all that. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, he's stopping his tracks. Oh, what the fuck? No! Fucker! Yo, I'm getting this today. Promise. I will defeat you, father. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm trying to do the twin pistons to death. Or not the Twin Pistons, you know exactly what I'm trying to do, but it doesn't finish! You bring... Bastard! Oh god. We are But yeah, when Tekken Tag... Like, when I finally knew what Tekken Tag was, because I was still playing my Tekken 2s, my Tekken 3s, until that game came out, I never knew it existed. I was like, what the fuck is this game? And, um... Oh, God. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this game? Then it pretty much had everybody in there. I'm like, what the hell is this game? Because I'm seeing Kazuya, I'm seeing Jin, I'm seeing June, I'm seeing Law, I'm seeing Lei, I'm seeing all the Jacks from P Jack, C or C Jack, P Jack, freaking Gun Jack. By the way, I beat you, bitch. Oh God, unknown. Or should I say June? Should I say June's sister? I don't know if it was just me, but when the hell did she change her costume from the intro to us fighting now? No, seriously. I'm not tripping. Did you guys see her wearing her goddamn bodysuit of goop and now she's wearing a goddamn dress? I gotta run that back. I am not tripping, dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm not dripping. I swear to God. I freaking saw her wearing her goddamn goop soup suit, and now she's wearing the dress. Are you freaking kidding me? Yo, I really need to play that back. But if if I'm tripping, I'm sorry. But I swear to God that I saw the freaking suit. Let's continue. Oh, shit.
yeah, this game was definitely a jewel. Because we get to play everybody. From Tekken's 1, 2, and 3. And it was awesome. Of course, with the exception of Gone and... Well, since he was a... Oh, by the way, Gone is definitely the first guest character before uh, Geese Howard, before Noctis. This fool... Th oh my god, this bitch did the 10-piece combo. Are you kidding me? Look at this shit. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Her freaking legs were dark. But I swear to god, I thought she was wearing her goddamn uh, goop suit. Fucking A, man. Give me a sec. Yeah, it was awesome that we get to use all these characters that were in Tekken 1, 2, and 3. Like, we can, you know, we can pair up June and Jin. We can pair up Heihachi, Kazuya, Kazuya and Jin. Like, it was awesome. Come on. Yeah, it was it was freaking awesome. <laughs> I freaking stole the game from my cousin's house one time. As soon as my brother ratted me out, I got my ass whipped. It was that bad. Like it was that bad. I was like fucking eight, nine years old at the time. I was really a bad kid when it comes to stealing something from people's houses. I mean, I don't do that anymore because I'm more mature and respectable of people's things. I can ask to borrow them like I should as a kid, but you know, I was... <laughs> I told you guys about the whole Mortal Kombat uh, from Sega Genesis that I literally stole it from somebody's house and pretty much never, you know, gave it back. They never asked for it either, so I was like, fuck it, I'll keep it. Yeah, I was definitely a bad kid during that time, you know what I'm saying? But don't worry, if I go to your house, I ain't trying to steal shit because I'm actually respectable. And besides, it was like... 10, 15 some years ago. Come on. Toy! You know. But yeah, I pretty much took that shit and I literally got my ass whipped. Like it was that bad. And I never knew the game existed. The fucking game. I mean, I have the game on PS2 now, but, you know, is is fucking great. It's perfect. The graphics are good. The gameplay is good. Everything about that game is good. The Enbu was good. It was fucking awesome. The fact that you can be able to use every single character from, like, Tekken's 1, 2, and 3, phenomenal. I mean, we're seeing Ganryu right now facing True Ogre. Ganryu was last seen in Tekken 2 and True Ogre in Tekken 3. Put them together? That's crazy, man. But yeah, True Ogre stage. Definitely a lot of variations that we have never seen since the, you know, Tekken 3 version. Now we're seeing Huarang stage. It's the same exact shit, but this time, it's thundering. I really like that. I mean, I can go on and on, but the fact of the matter is, is that... The arcade version is phenomenal, and the PS2 version is definitely phenomenal. And the HD version of Tekken Tag Tournament, definitely the icing on the cake. You know, you can't, you can't beat that. 
This is why I would definitely like Tekken Tag and Tekken 3 and Tekken 2 more than the other Tekkens because they were the crown jewels. I mean, Tekken 7 is fucking awesome as hell, and Tekken Tag Tournament 2 literally set the bar to a high plane. No, 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 no. Le and let me do the freaking quote. They don't just set the bar. We are the bar. Or they are the bar. Or it is the bar, excuse me. But, yeah, like, fucking Michelle. Freaking Michelle Chang. And, uh, some of the shits are gone. We're in complete. Oh, never mind. Fucking true ogre shit. Um, in case you guys didn't know, whenever you use true ogre, the freaking stage turned pitch black every time you use true ogre. So I guess that's why I'm seeing the thing all black. I thought it was like a glitch in the system. Oh, there's lay stage. Or lay stage. Fuck. Yeah, there's lay stage. Different. Very, very, very different. Very different. And I'm sadly to say that this is definitely the last Tekken that I'll do until I find a way to play Tekken 4 and Tekken 5. That's all I gotta say about that. But yeah, this has been my gameplay for Tekken Tag Tournament. If you like the video, Definitely give it a thumbs up. Share, subscribe if you're new. Uh, definitely watch the Ryu theme history video like I stated the last six to seven fucking videos. I'm telling you, man. I'm trying to get this joint on the map. So, definitely be prepared for that. I gotta go on that website to see if that actually still exists. But yeah, I'm out. This is the Dark Ace signing out. Peace.